back to my channel and I would like to welcome my new subscribers. As you can see from the title, we're doing zodiac readings. And uh, you know, I don't do these zodiac readings a lot. I do them sometimes. Let me know in the comments if you like those kind of readings, okay? And you want me to do them more. I have old readings that I've done for zodiacs, but not so much. So if you like this kind of reading, let me know in the comment. And today we're starting with Aries because I'm an Aries. So I just decided to start with fire signs. And I decided to do each sign alone and be more detailed about it i like in my readings you can see i have different vials know my readings and all that i like to specific specific specify the energy and divide them so it's gonna be more accurate for you and more pleasant for you to hear the messages could be not pleasant for everybody because you don't have a lot of messages there to tell yourself to hide from the truth and to not to be in denial because yeah a psychic said in a bio like uh, they could love you for some of you they could not like you know anyway you get it so we're going to see what's coming toward you this year 2024 predictions for you in every aspect for Aries okay and I understand that Aries are different like each Aries is different and your chart is different you have your moon sign you have your rising sign so feel free to watch also your moon sign and rising sign to you know get a very specific message for you and if you want a personal reading you can email me my email is down in the description okay let's start here what's coming towards you aries and this year i do feel a lot of like um uh, let me just close this because it's a bit too much summer wood i do feel like a lot of um confusion but it's not because you're confused it's more like what's happening for some areas here i do see like yeah for some areas but majority of you like you know because i told you like each is a bit different because of your chart but majority of you all of you is like getting out of like some chaotic energy that was really just too much and for some reason you got used to that too muchness of the energy right you got used to it it's almost like you got shocked and it was a mess and then because you're in Aries, you're taking actions, you're taking actions and you seem like you organize yourself based on this chaos. You you made a live of it, you took actions, you, you organized this mess and you got used to your life being this way. Still no chapter entering your life and was not entering your life. So it sounds like the chaos was there, you cleaned the mess around you and you worked around the mess that was in your life, okay? So the confusion here is like... The confusion is like there's no longer work this year for you 2024 there's work for you but the work is going to be different than what you're you were having the last year or the last years so for some of you have been dealing with a lot of work for other things for things that you had to do works for a friend works for work for the chaos in your life sounds like you had tower moment you had things and you made a life so it became your life you, you took action you worked for things you you had an issue and you made a lot of plans and routine and you worked for that the chapter that going to enter is very weird because there's no work but there's work that okay there's nothing here going to force you to work for it but there's work that you choose to do it's not work that you had to do because of the mess that you created a routine because that was there and you had to find solutions if it makes sense right so let's see here i don't feel like it's been like this for probably for you for a few years for some aries it's been like this for a few years probably that things happen in your life you try to be optimistic you build your life around it for some of you had children for some of you something happened or you had something in your life that that you just had to basically focus on that thing and be responsible and as an Aries myself I do feel like you you are a responsible parent you're a responsible person and you have to be responsible because of your responsibilities you created a lot of things and hobbies and things that were really gonna go with that chaos or that thing that happened even though you don't want to admit it that it's a chaos because it could be something as like you had a child or something like that but it was chaotic and you work through it and i don't feel like the next chapter they're going to enter is almost like nothing is there you have a big break and 
you finally get to choose where you want your life to go and what actions you want to take and it could be something very thrilling that you for a while you did not have this privilege from the universe to feel like you can create your actions and i do feel like you understand because you're aries you understand what i mean by create your actions it's almost like if you have a routine but this time it's almost like life is telling you you could choose your own routine you could choose your own work or you could choose what you want during the day it feels like for some of you maybe you're going you're gonna go through tower moments you still didn't go through that some of you, you went through tower moments that released a lot of burdens released a lot of like fourth parties even not third parties fourth parties could be not like in love it's just like other people interfering with things work and chaotic chaotic situations here or even cut a lot of people out of your out of your life cannot speak people who are like really tongue tie around you that they really didn't speak their truth they were fake and you maybe cut them off or you're going to cut them off and that gonna cause you to be like looking at yourself and be like you know what like I find myself very happy. I'm very free from the bane, very free from that, very free from those people. And I feel like right now I have time for myself. And this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. This is what I'm going to do. This is where I'm going to go. This is what I'm going to do. I'm no longer obligated to cater those people or those things. Or I'm no longer obligated. I'm only obligated for myself, the things that I have. It's almost like here, but it's going to be confusing. I don't feel like this is your beginning that going to come this year is going to be confusing because I do feel like a lot of anxiety going to come from it or you have a lot of anxiety from it. It's You can breathe again, yeah, but it's like also a bit confusing of like, okay, like, okay, well, there's nothing now, there's something and i can do that now and it's almost like you can do that let's see the tower moments like i can do that now and it's going to come this decision going to come really based on others because it could be someone else you're going to see someone else doing something for some of you and you're going to be like you know what i should do the same thing for others of you it's going to happen some tower moments are going to happen to people around you they're going to make you realize that you can get whatever you want right now because of their bad karma or something that happened to them or you're gonna give them some bad karma okay or they having some bad karma but you're going to this is the thing it's almost like i always wanted to go see this door here but right now it's happening i was very drained i did not have the assets money or whatever the thing is and now you're going to feel like you can do that but the confusing part of the situation is like how swiftly going to come is almost like the brain here the confusion is like how things going to change really fast for some of you overnight it could be also they're going to be like you're going to be very confused and anxious and worried and you're just like what should i do it could be like after a tower moment like what should i do should i should i go with that or should i wait or should i organize things or it's almost like you're going to have to break from whatever been happening in the last years that you were so organized so persistent and something and just do it really randomly it's almost like you're gonna have to step in your energy of like taking fast actions and it's going to be a bit confusing a bit confusing see the fool like it's going to be a bit confusing for you to go back and step to your energy when you were restricted too much in the last few years that you are not being yourself from the universe you're not being the outdriving person that you take actions it's almost like someone's gonna be like go but it's like so confusing because like now you're just thinking should i do it this way or should i be responsible because you're scared you're scared because the universe restricted you a lot that you're scared that if you're going to take actions fast actions you're going to hit yourself on the wall like what happened before so it might be very triggered okay so let's see here this year also what's going to happen in love and all of that I do feel like you're going to throw a lot of your love expectation in the toilet. Literally, you're going to throw it away. You could be finding yourself finding yourself in an energy where like you literally, because the universe gave you a break to feel yourself. And you're going to be like, why should I be a 
obligated to be with the whatever shit. You don't want to be restricted. I do feel like a lot of the Aries, you might feel like you're not wanting to be restricted anymore in a relationship, even though you want to find the one relationship and all love. But you're going to find yourself enjoying this enjoying yourself enjoying that finally things are not restricted finally things this way but some of you maybe happened after a breakup or something like that that enjoyment going to make you you know just like feeling like i'm gonna live my life and be happy and be alone so yeah for some of you it's like that and i feel like a lot of you aries here different scenarios you're in love let me tell you I do feel like some Aries, they're going to find themselves obsessing about someone from their past. They might go back thinking about that person. Especially if you're an Aries who you feel like you fucked up in a relationship with someone that you love. Um, some Aries, they're going to find themselves trying to, you know, just let go of pain that happened to them in a relationship. And they're going to find it a bit difficult to let go. But they're going to try to find joy in life and all of that without thinking about it. But you might still find yourself lacking. Some areas, they're still going through lessons of breaking free from things that they're restricting your life and love and life in general. So some areas are still restricted in some certain aspect that that is the blockage of like not getting the one, not getting something. Some areas, they're going to fall in love, whether they like it or not. Some love going to come to them. And those areas are the one who like go for a lot of things here. So there's a love, but it just seems like love happens in mysterious ways per se but going to be fair so some of you aries you might find yourself finding a new lover even those aries who've been hanging on the bus or all of that a lot of you aries going to deal with someone new okay a lot of you having this energy for new people entering your life and your relationship whether it was real love or karmic a lot of aries are going to be introduced to people soon okay so let's see more about your career and all of that was going to happen in the next 2024, in the year, I mean, this year, you know. Da, 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 da. I don't feel like your career is going to be very stagnant or you're going to take a break from your career because you can too. You have four to take a break or you might take a long chance you might take a chance on something, could be finishing your studies, finishing something, but in career, you're going to literally feel like you can do it. I don't feel like some of you might cut a burden that you were taking care of someone or something, and you're going to be like, oh, now I feel like less stressed in my career because I cut that responsibility. So I do feel like that. A lot of you Aries going to find opportunities coming to you that are going to be very very fun very fun for some of you might even decide to work in a place that you like it could be also a simple job that you're gonna get but there's a very fun job that's going to happen or you're gonna have a lot of fun in your career in general so a lot of you areas are going to have fun in your career in general okay let me drink my coffee i do feel like you're gonna find it very hard to trust your intuition here this year the reason is let's see here you're gonna find it very hard to trust your intuition the reason is because things are different that's why you're gonna find it very hard to trust your intuition because things are too good or things are too nice or it's almost like you got used to like you wait around for that person to fuck up or for that those people to be toxic or this uh, thing to be toxic. It's almost like your Aries are very intuitive in general inside. So even if they're friendly and charming charming around you, they, they know inside. I know like I'm an Aries myself. So I feel like when you're like, there's nothing dark in the situation or nothing's happening that was like the last years, it's going to be a little bit, what the fuck is going on? You might find it a little bit hard to trust your intuition here. Like... Not because of anything, because you're going to be telling yourself or some of you. It's like, am I tripping? Like, there's something that I'm not seeing. Am I, like, being too optimistic or something like that? Like, I don't know if some of you are like that. I do feel like majority of areas might get pregnant here for some of you or have a child. If you're not looking to have a child, you're just going to have a new beginning with their own career or even you're going to start a new friendship. A lot of your areas, you're going to find yourself exploding the next year at people that you hate. So yeah you're going to either cause them to have tower moments or you're going to cut people or you're going to be very ruthless or you're going to speak your truth to people that you hate or just cut them off 
um, you're not blaming anymore. You're not blaming. You're not sitting around and blaming and they're toxic. You're just like, I'm sick of that energy. A lot of your areas, you might find time to grieve your loss or you might find time to visit a grave if you had lost someone. Or this is something that was really sad and like a place that you missed or something like that. You might go back to, you know, memory lane and just grieve it and have closure with whatever Koji Tower moment. So you might go to a place or you just find time to heal. Um, a lot of your areas, you're going to find yourself relocating, moving to a different state, different country um leaving something around you something was there for a long time you're just gonna leave it whether relocate or move in or even get a divorce or leaving someone behind you or just like cutting a cycle or cutting a lot of people or even moving away from home okay um a lot of your areas might even go to the hospital here you might study and if you're in the medical field you might study there or for some of you as i told you, you might be pregnant or something like that you might have a lot of checkup or things that you didn't do on the hospital in the hospital like dentist and all of that so yeah let's see here the self-care oracle burning okay your hand use your hands that speaks about what we said we're going to take seven first set da, 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 that massage yeah i don't feel like you're sick of this you're sick of this you're sick of this you're sick of relaxing the universe putting you in a mood where like you're supposed to relax and calm and find things like cleaning organizing you're sick of this you no longer this a lot of your aries are going to be very positive about your life and very healed and that energy going to be very deadly that anybody steps in or anybody from your boss going to have to take that shit it's almost like you're gonna put them there and you're gonna tell them all you're gonna make them pay for all the shit it's almost like pay for that pay for that pay for that you might let people know that they fucking treated you bad or you're just like i don't want anybody to interfere with that so you might stop feeling good and you don't want anybody to interfere with that a lot of your aries learned a lot of hobbies during the stagnation time and all of that you're going to apply these hobbies in your life or you're going to even make money from the hobbies that you created a lot of your aries you might find yourself in a sexual relationship or very sexual uh, this year or even getting pregnant as i said some of you might get pregnant or all of that a lot of your aries are going to find yourself really having opportunities from others others are going to offer you opportunity jobs or something like that because of your talent or because of your appearance or because of things that you have even also a lot of people going to admire you and find you very charming okay let's see here. i do feel like a lot of your aries are really as i said you're going to take actions but you're going to have a hard time trusting that you're protected from the universe and it's like you're scared because the last time you took action, something happened. I don't feel like you're, you're scared of the... You're, you're very self-conscious, consciousness here. But I don't feel like you're going to get over that, okay? For some of your Aries, as I said, there is like a still toxic trait here. For some Aries, you're still dealing with jealousies. You're still dealing with things that you didn't change in your life. And I don't feel like Spirit wants you to be careful. If you're that kind of Aries here that you're still a bit jealous or a jealous ho or something like that. Or jealous from other people. Or you're going to compare yourself still you might be restricted in your love life still and be on hold till you learn and this year you're going to have the biggest tower moment of your life to understand that there's something here that you've done negatively for yourself or you're comparing yourself to others and you're going to understand that you need to step and you'll be like you know what why am i jealous why am i uh, being hateful i need to change that if i wanted to change and i don't feel like i'm gonna find it hard to break free from uh beliefs all belief system or family or all of that for some of you thank you for watching have a lovely day my lovely aries and uh, remember to like or subscribe to my channel let me know if you like those kind of readings so i would do them more often okay